Hey everybody, hope you're having an awesome day. We're back here in Dragon Vale. And in this video, we're going to be getting the prizes from the Mythic Egg Hunt. And the event has ended. It's all over. You can't collect any more eggs. Uh, but you have four days this time instead of uh, the seven that we used to have. We have four days to collect the eggs from your gifts. So if you have lots of eggs still in there, you can get up to a thousand per day. Uh, we have, as you can see by the time here, we got a couple more days left to collect eggs out of our gifts. But we managed to get lots of eggs and uh, we have enough to get all the prizes that we need uh, that are in the prizes. Uh, we also uh, were able to breed the pond dragon here, as you can see, and we bought the plateau dragon. We're going to level that up in a second. We also got the star, the star wing and the glow wing, which are right over here. And there's the glow wing right there. You can see right there at the top. And the star wings around here somewhere, unless I'm breeding with it right now. Uh, I might be breeding with that, so let's see. Am I breeding with the star wing? No, I'm not. So, did I not see it? Do my eyes deceive me? Where's the star wing? Let's look in here. I don't see it there. Oh, there it is, right there. So, the star wing is hiding here somewhere. There it is, right there at the top. So, I got the star wing. We, I bred that in the island with a uh, chrysalis and, um, uh, no, I, I bred that in co-op with a chrysalis and someone else's star wing, and then I got the glow wing for free on the last day of the, the uh, rewards. So let's go over here and we're going to level up, if we can find the island right over here, we're going to level up the plateau first, and we got lots of dragon food. So we're going to level this one up, and then I'm going to go get the other prizes that I need from the prizes area. I forget what it's actually called, we'll check it out in a sec. But there we go, level 20 for the Plateau Dragon, let's turn off that crown, I'm not a big fan of the crown. Uh, and maybe we can put it in co-op for now. So there we have the Plateau Dragon and the Pond Dragon, and let's head over to the prizes and start buying some prizes. The Brocadian Bazaar. Couldn't think of the name. But that's where we are right now. I'm going to start in Speckled. And we have the first few prizes. And we're going to get the Arc to Try Eggs. And buy that and put it in the park. That's a fairly big size. Kind of flat looking. Would have been nice if it had a bit of a dimension to it. And we'll put it over here. And get a couple of gems from Twitter and Facebook there. Head back into the prizes. And back into Speckled. And next on the list, uh, we get the Tansy Pedestal. And we're just going to put our pedestals over here just for sake of time. And I'll move them later. And go back in and get... I think there's a couple more in the speckled section that I want to get. I like to get the other hidden habitat, so I'm going to get a second hidden habitat, although I won't be able to fill it. My plan is to... Oh, let's put it over there. I want to put it over in front of the other one. And can we get it right away? There we go. My plan is to breed uh, with the hidden dragons I already have and get uh, more uh, hidden dragons and fill up this second habitat, but I'm sure they'll have new hidden dragons come out later on. And let's go back and get another one. I think there's one left in here. I don't want to do the egg of mystery because I have all the eggs, so it's not really going to be a mystery. And then the Tansy Dragon, we're going to put it into this one here. And there's our Tansy Dragon. And a couple of more gems from Facebook and Twitter. Always cool to get gems. And let's level up our Tansy quickly. And it changes quite a bit once it gets past level, what was it, 8 or so there. And the Tansy is looking pretty cool. We won't go up too high, go up to level 17. 
18, there we go. Wow, awesome. And it turns into a tansy, <laughs> which looks like a thistle, some kind of a thistle plant. But let's go get, there it goes. Let's go get, I think that's it for the speckled and into striped. And we're going to get a stone shell pedestal and put it over there with the other one, which is right up here. There you are. And go get the next prize in striped. And we got those. And the stone of egg chat chantment. Oh, it's kind of on the small side. And there it goes breaking apart already. Let's put it right there in front of the hidden habitat. Oh, look at that. It sort of floats up, comes back together, and back down. So there's the stone of egg enchantment. And we have the lace wing. I'm going to get the monolith boost. And definitely put that on an island where I have my monolith habitat, which I think is right down there. So let's put you down here, right there. I'll probably put all my monolith hab habitats on one island. So they can all benefit from the boost. And let's get back into our striped section and get the rest of what we need here. And the stone shell dragon is next. And let's put it back in that second habitat as well. And here comes the stone shell dragon. And some more gems from Facebook and Twitter. Awesome. And I'm going to level up the stone shell. Take it up to around 15, 16, maybe 18 or so. There we go, 16, 17, level 18. Turn off the star. And there's a stone shell dragon in the park. Kind of one of the stranger looking hidden dragons, I would say. But there it goes, turns into a big stone. And we're going to go into the next section. Hey, what's going on? There's something here we haven't got. Oh, because we didn't do the Egg of Mystery, that's why. That's okay. I don't want to do that. Um, and Spotted is next. And we have a Starwing Pedestal. We got that from Breeding. And we're going to get a Cumulus Pedestal. And put it up with the other ones right over there. Awesome. Very cool. And go back into the spotted section. And what do we need next? The transfiguring tree. Let's see what this is. Still a small decoration. We, we can put it right there. And there's the transfiguring tree. And a couple more gems for that. From Twitter and Facebook and there it goes wow that's cool pops in and out of that little container that's the whole transfiguring part right there and let's go back into spotted and see what else we need here we got the swallowtail the star wing and we're gonna get the cumulus dragon now, this is a cool looking dragon put it right there into the hidden habitat and that's Getting lots of gems from Twitter and Facebook posts. And let's go level up our Cumulus Dragon. See how this changes. It starts out a little cloud with a head poking out. Got up to level 7, level 8, level 10, 11. It's still behind the cloud. Up to level 16, 17, level 18. Turn off the star, and there's a Cumulus Dragon. It's a cloud right now. Let's see what it looks like in the park. There it is flying around. So I guess it pokes out its feet and its tail and its wings and its head from behind the clouds and then it disappears behind the cloud. And it's that's the hidden, the whole hidden effect for that dragon. That's pretty cool. 
And let's go back into our prizes. And back, I think Spotted's done, so we're going to go into Sparkled. And we have a Marble Tail, a Tulip Pedestal we're going to get. Put it up here with the other one. Whoops. There we go. Put it right there. Awesome. Let's go get another remaining. We have a glowing pedestal because we bred a second glowing after we got the free one. We have one incubating right here. You can see it right there in the nursery. So I'm going to wait till that's done and I'm going to use that pedestal so I don't need to buy another glowing pedestal. And what do we need next? The Tulip Dragon. And we have the Glowing Dragon, so this looks like the last thing we need to put into the park. And here comes the Tulip Dragon. And lots of gems from Facebook and Twitter. Cool. And let's go level up our Tulip Dragon. A level 3, 4, 5, 6... 9, up to 10, up to level 12, 13. Tulip Dragon is not changing too much. 15, 16, and 18 right there. Let's see what that looks like in the park. Might want to... Let's move the tulip over to the other habitat. We'll take a look at it there. And it's flying around. Huh, that's a cool looking dragon. It's a small, fragile looking little thing, isn't it? But quite pretty as a tulip. So I guess when it lands, it turns into a tulip. Okay, so that's all the hidden dragons and the chrysalis dragons uh, that were available in this event. We got them all, which is awesome. We were able to collect all the eggs. And as a result, of course, our flame is back on in our Dragonarium. Awesome! It's cool to have the flame back. It was off during the entire event, but now it's back on. And we've got all the dragons. So let us know what dragons you got for this event. If you got them all, how many eggs you're able to collect, how well you did in the event. I'd uh, love to hear how you did. And hope you, I hope you got lots of eggs and managed to get all the dragons. If you didn't, you still can breed them either in the park if you have the dragon or uh, you can breed them in co-op with someone else's dragon. Uh, if you want to breed a co-op breed with me, uh, let me know and I can try and put up uh, some of the hidden dragons or the chrysalis dragons so you can get them. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like or a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on Dragonvale. We'll see you guys next time.